All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. Today, guys, we'll be doing our UEFA Europa Conference League predictions, guys, from match day six, the final match day in Conference League group stage. And we'll be looking ahead of the matches, so we'll be predicting the matches. And let's go and get started. So let's start with Group A here. Um, and yeah, so as we can see, um, Alice Caret have been eliminated, zero points, and HJK have been eliminated. And now it's basically a battle between the top spot between Lask and Messi Tel Aviv. So let's go ahead and look at this thing right here. So um, we have Alice Caret versus Messi Tel Aviv. Uh, for this one, I think Massive should win this. And they're on the road here. And Lask versus HCK. I think Lask should win. I think both teams will win. And I think Lask will end up taking the top spot because they, they um won against, what is it, Lask versus Messi Tel Aviv. Lask, let's see. Yeah, they won 1-0 one, no road. And then uh, what would the reverse fixture? It ended up becoming a draw. So... I think Lask will end up top in the group. So, yeah. Let's move on to Group B. Actually, let me go and put my predictions. Um, so, for Lask, for this one, uh, let me put it on the website. I'll be using the gaming website, by the way, just so you guys know. Uh, Lask, I am I think they should win 2-0. I'm going to say 2-0. Like I said, AJK have nothing to play for, so I don't really expect them to do much. On uh, the Lask, no, Lask, sorry. Messi Tel Aviv. Yeah, I'm going to say 2-0 win for them. Yeah. And by the way, Lask don't really, I mean... I mean, yeah, they last need to basically get at least a point. Because if they at least get a draw and Massive Tel Aviv wins, then it's all good to go. So last only we need to win, but I think they'll win anyway because they're playing at home. So, yeah, that's match day. Group A complete. Let's move on to Group B. Now it's interesting here. So, wow. Antheris Famagusta is eliminated. Floor is eliminated. Um, well, actually, they're not eliminated, but um, they can still qualify permanently. Knockout stage, like they can't get top spot basically. Uh, Flora and the party zone. Wow, interesting. So the head-to-head -head record is actually Flora's two and Andres Fumagus is two, but goal difference Flora's minus two and Andres is minus three. So Flora's actually head because of goal difference. So for this match, Partizan versus and Andres Fumagusta. I think Partizan should win this. Um, they really honestly should. The reverse fixture of this, it ended up becoming a 2 0 win for Partizan on the road. I imagine Partizan should win this, so yeah. And then Gen versus Flora. I think Gen should win this, honestly. They got some great players, so yeah, I think Gen should win. Um, which would mean that Gen gets top spot, Partizan gets second, Flora gets third, Anthuris, Farmagusta gets fourth. Remember, guys. I remember everyone, second place in the group does not get a direct round of 16 spot. They have to go through a playoffs for against a Europa League team. So keep in mind that. So I think Ghent will top the group. And yeah, they've already topped anyway because, um, let me, well, actually, let me see. Partizan, let's say a Partizan win, right? And Ghent loses. Partizan versus Ghent, what's the head-to-head -head record? Ghent won 1-0. Um, let's see, Ghent won 1-0. Oh, draw. Okay, yeah. So, Gent, it doesn't... Yeah, Ghent's basically top of the group. Because even if Partizan do win, Ghent have the head-to-head -head advantage. So, it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah. Basically, Partizan needs to basically win. And Ghent don't even need to win that match. But I still think they'll win anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to say Ghent wins that. Uh, where's Ghent here? Where the heck is Ghent? Should be near the top, right? Oh, I found it here. Oh, they have a different logo here. That's what makes it confusing. Okay. Uh, and then Partizan, I think they'll... Sh they sh I'll say they win 1-0. I'll say they win 1-0. Okay, let's move on to Group C. Wow, Group C is really interesting. So we have Bodo and Roma that have already... They're basically going to get top two. Zora and CSK Sofia have been eliminated. Now for Roma, they have a very... Zora... So Bodo slash Gims have a very tricky test. They have to face Zora, Zora on the road. Now, keep on, Zora is already eliminated, so that makes things interesting. The reverse fixture ended up becoming a a win for Bodog Limit. And for Roma, they have to travel away to Sofia. Now, Roma have to win that because here's the interesting part. Uh, both teams need to win. Both teams need to win, and this is coming down to the wire. So, Bodo wins, puts them at 14 points, and Roma wins 13. So, Roma needs to hope that Bodo drops points. They need to hope that. Do I think it's going to happen? No. I think Bodo's been looking really good. They've been really one of the most impressive teams. And that victory over um, Roma showed everything. I really like the guy, Botman. He's such a good player. Very talented indeed. Really like the guy, 
Berg as well. And I just think this Boda team is going to upset. I think this Boda team will triumph, and I think both teams will win. But I think Boda will end up taking the top spot. So, yeah. And, and, and they also haven't even lost a match as well. So, I think Boda will win, and Roma will win. So, yeah. I got to give it up to Boda, man. They've been looking really good. But part of me thinks that Boda could drop points. But, yeah, Roma should... Let's say win. I'm going to say a 3 0 win for Roma on the road. And then for Bodo, let's see. Um, I'm going to say. Ooh, interesting. A lot of the odds are actually saying that they'll draw this game. I think they're going to narrowly win. I think they're going to narrowly win this one. Wow. I'll say 1 0 win on the road. 1 0 win on the road, which should be enough. Very interesting indeed. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next group. Group D, wow, AZ Alkmaar have already qualified to the round of 16. Um, and now for the top, the second place spots between Rangers and Jablonik, CFR Kluge has been eliminated. Yeah, man, CFR Kluge have been very disappointing, man. I just have, ever since that Europa League draw against Sevilla, they just haven't been the same. They just haven't been the same. They looked really, they've been, I don't know what's happening to them. They just haven't been the same. For this one's an interesting one. So we have AZ versus Randers. Now AZ have already qualified. So it really I don't really know if AZ will take this game seriously per se. See if our Kluge versus Jalbanek, I think Jalbanek will win keep the pressure on. But because Randers needs to win that match, because if Jalbanek wins and Randers drop points, then Jalbanek will end up getting that second place spot. So Randers need to win this. Uh it's a tough call to make. Uh I'm going to say a draw, guys. I'm going to say my first draw. This is the first game I think is going to end in a draw. And I think Jalbanik will actually take over that second place spot because they're placing Kluge on the road. So I'm going to say AZ, Alkmaar, and Randers. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. Where's that match? Yeah, 1-1 one, one draw. And then Jalbanik, I think they're going to win. Wow, everyone's predicting CFR Kluge to win. I don't think CFR Kluge are winning this because they're at home. Even though they're at home... It doesn't really matter for them. They're already eliminated, so I don't really see how. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 road win. I'll go for a 2-1 road win for Jalmanik. But man, CFR Kluge, man, they really honestly probably should win, but as I said, they're already eliminated, so I don't really think they'll really care. All right, so let's move on to Group E. Wow, this group is really interesting. So yeah, make sure, remember guys, I have been doing these predictions. I just haven't made videos for it, and now I want you guys to do in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my description for my, below for my Twitter, my Discord, my Twitch, etc. And yeah, so just want to give you guys a quick update on that. And let's get back to the video. So let's go with Group E right now. So Group E is really interesting. So you have Masibi Afi that's eliminated, basically. They have nothing to play for. Union Berlin, Slavia Pro, Feyenoord have qualified top spot. So now we have the final game, which is Feyenoord versus Masibi Afi. Because Masibi Afi have nothing to play for, Feyenoord don't really have much to play for. I think this game could end in a draw. Now, Union Berlin versus Slavia Prague, that's going to be the big game indeed. That's going to probably determine the top uh, second place in the group. And Slavia actually won the reverse game three goals to one. <sighs> that's a tough one to call. I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say a draw. So that means Slavia would actually progress. Union Berlin have to beat Slavia at home. But I think it's going to end in a draw. I think both games are ending in draws. Actually, actually, I think Feyenoord will win. I think Feyenoord will win 1-0, actually. Um, let's say 2-0, actually. 2-0 win for Feyenoord. And then Union Berlin versus Slavia Pro. I'm going to go for a draw for this one. Union Berlin, I predicted them. I think I predicted them to top the group, actually. Um, they've been very disappointing, man. So we'll see, man. I, I, I really would like to see Union Berlin do something here. It would be very nice indeed. So, But yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm going to have to go with a draw for this one. It's a safe prediction indeed. So let's see how many more groups we got. Three more groups, guys. Three more groups. So let's go with Group F. Wow, Group F is interesting. So we got Copenhagen. That's top of the group directly. So they're not going to really... There's nothing really much to play for for them. Slobby and Basri and Polk. Lincoln Red Ems. Lincoln Red Ems is eliminated, by the way. Now, let's look into that um, second place spot. Because it's basically a battle between Slovenia and Polk. Now, keep in mind, Slovenia do have a better goal difference over Polk. Which should be enough for them to get that second place spot. So, even if both games, let's say, end in the draws. Um, then Slovenia will progress through. So... Polk versus Lincoln Red Ems. I think this one's going to be interesting. I think Polk should win this. I mean, they're playing at home, so you would hope that they could win. So, yeah, and then Copenhagen versus Slovian Bus Street. That's a tough one to call because Copenhagen are at home for this one. Ooh, that's a tough one to call. I think... Hmm. 
I think that might end. I think Copenhagen might win that. Because even though they have nothing to really play for, because even though they have nothing to really play for, I still think Copenhagen might do it because it's at home for them, right? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a tough one to call. Let me see the let me see the reverse fixture. Slovian versus Copenhagen. Wow, so Copenhagen won the reverse fixture three goals to one. So, yeah, this Jonas Wynn guy, he was good in the uh, Euros, I think, for Denmark. So, uh, man... It's a tough call to make, but I think I'm going to go the surprise on this one. I think Copenhagen will win and Pauk will win, which will mean that Pauk will actually jump ahead of Slovian and get that second place spot, So, which will be really, really interesting indeed. But yeah, um, I think Pauk should win, so I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for Pauk. And Copenhagen, I think they're going to win. 2-0. Keeping it the same, predictions for both. Let's move on to Group G. Now this is really interesting. Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham. Oh, man, Tottenham Hotspur. They have put themselves in a really bad position. You know what's really interesting? I saw Rennes drew against, um, what is it? I think was it against uh, Vitesse on the match day five. And uh, Vitesse scored uh, a last-minute equalizer, I think, 90th minute. And you would think to yourself, okay, Tottenham are still in this. They could still top the group, right? Well, Tottenham only went on to lose to Mora in the 94th minute. It's just embarrassing for Tottenham. Guys, Tottenham are not even, like... They have to basically win, essentially. All right? Let me see. Yeah, Rens have already qualified for round of 16, so they'll top the group. Mora is eliminated, so there's nothing to really play for them. Now we got Tottenham versus Vitesse. Now, we look at it right here. Tottenham play Rens at home. Vitesse play more on the ro road. I mean, at home. I think Vitesse... Let me see Vitesse versus Mora. How did it end up? Vitesse versus Mora. Vitesse won 2-0 on the road. I think Vitesse will win. Which would mean that they'll be on 10 points and Tottenham would actually need to win. Tottenham would actually need to win. But the good news for Tottenham is this. Tottenham do have the better goal difference. Meaning that if it, both games end in wins or both games end in draws, Tottenham would prevail though. Do I see the BD Rens at home? Guys, I'll be honest with you. Even though Rens have nothing to really play for because they've already topped the group, I'm going to go for a surprise and say no. And a lot of Tottenham Hotspur fans, and even a lot of general fans will probably be surprised to hear, I don't think Tottenham are beating Rens at home. I think it's going to end in a draw. A 1-1 draw, and I think Vitesse would actually beat Mora, which would mean that Vitesse would actually get the second place spot ahead of Tottenham, and that Tottenham would actually be eliminated from the Conference League in general. Like, in the group stage. So... Yeah, man, I, I don't know, man. I just don't trust Tottenham, man. I really don't trust Tottenham, especially what they did to Zygerb last season. After being 2-0 up from the first leg, we all know what happened second leg. It was a disastrous for them. I just don't know, man. This Tottenham team is very funky, very strange indeed. And I don't know, man. I mean, it, 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 this is it, man. This is it. Like, they have to do this now. They have to win this match, essentially. Because I don't think Vitesse are going to draw points or more at home, especially considering the fact that Mora is already eliminated. and It's at home for Vitesse, so... I'm going to go for a surprise here and say Tottenham will actually draw this game. 1-1. One, one. And I think Mora, Vitesse will actually beat Mora. So I'm going to say a 2-1 one, one for 2-0 win. Actually, yeah, 2-1 one, one for Vitesse. Man, man. Very controversial prediction indeed, I know. Group H. Wow, this is a really interesting group here. Really interesting. So we have Basel that have already topped the group. Obviously, the standout player for Basel has been Arta Cabal, who has been linked to Barcelona. So, obviously, as a Barcelona fan, I would like to have on my team. Oh, man. This is really interesting. Wait, hold up. Cabral, he's just only scored penalties for Basel in the UEFA Europa Conference League. Oh, man. That is interesting to say. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So, we're going to move on to this one. So, Basel versus Korbeck. Now, Korbeck still have... Oh, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. Basel haven't topped the group. Basel are going to get at least second in the group. Omenia Court are Carrot are eliminated. Oh, I see. So Basel play Korbeck. This is oh, I see now. So basically, the winner of this match basically directly goes around at sixteen. Loser goes to the uh, playoffs. Basically, let's do the Omenia versus the Carrot first. Fixture first. I think I'm gonna say Omenia should win this. So I'm gonna say Omenia should win that. Let's say Omenia wins. Um, I'm gonna say one nil win. 1-0 win. 
And then for um, Basel versus Quarterback, I think, let me see, the reverse of fixture ended nil nil. What's the head to head though? Oh, I just realized. Okay, it's interesting because. Okay, I think here's what's going to happen. So if it ends in a draw, Basel will still get the top spot because they have scored more goals than Quarterback because their head to head would be even, right? So now it would go down to goal difference. And goal difference is the same. So now go to goals four, which would actually mean that Basel would actually prevail. Hmm. I think Basel is going to win. I think Basel will win this match. I'm going to say, I'm going to go for a crazy score line here in this one. I'm going to go for a 3-2 win for Basel. I know it might seem a little far-fetched, but, you know, there's always these crazy score lines that happen. So I'm going to say Basel wins 3-2, which should be more than enough for them to top the group. So realistically speaking, even a draw would be satisfactory. For Basel. Basically, Korbeck have to win. Basically, Korbeck have to win, and I don't think Korbeck's winning. So I think Basel will win 3 2. Okay, where's the Basel game right here? So yeah, I'm going to say a 3 2 win for Basel. Okay, so that's it for my way for Conference League predictions. I want you guys to comment down below your Conference League predictions as well. Make sure you guys turn your notifications on for all videos. So whenever I go live, you guys will get notified. And remember, guys, make sure you guys comment and subscribe on this video. Check out me and my other plots. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.